Hello and greetings from Blue Lagoon Island. We are only five kilometers away from the spot where uh, we are expecting another volcanic eruption, though nobody knows if it will end uh, in eruption or in uh, a simple uh, dike intrusion as it was back in November. And uh, But the land rise continues, though at slower rates. Uh, and there are more earthquakes uh, taking place uh, comparing to a week ago. Now we have 30, 30, 60 earthquakes per 24 hours. A week ago we had 30 earthquakes. So tension is building up, though the fact that um, um, the rate of uh, land rise decreases is also is somewhat contradicting. So we don't know for sure when the eruption will take place, but... Um, there is a great likelihood that it might happen soon. Uh, the tolerance limit, according to the Icelandic uh, Met Office, would be this weekend, like the, uh, the sufficient uh, pressure to trigger the eruption would be reached by the end of this week, they say. But you know, you never know, it's nature. As I told you earlier, the last land rise in in Krapla in the north during their eruption series ended with no eruption so you you really don't know what is going to happen and when and how long time it will take those things remain kind of mysterious but uh, you see people enjoying their time and the walls they're constantly working on the walls like there you see them like above Blue Lagoon at some three kilometers distance you see a truck driving by the walls. So they are working there on the top of the mountain to increase the wall because if, and that is a, a site of the last eruption, that's where we expect eruption as well. Now where you see those two, this mountain, precisely this one, same location we expect eruption. It's not that far to Blue Lagoon, only five kilometers. So. There is a wall there on the top, which, which is supposed to hold to the magma flow, lava flow, towards the geothermal power plant, which is at some four kilometers from the possible eruption site. Right next to Blue Lagoon, there we have this the geothermal power plant, which supplies uh, Keplovic communities around Keplovic with hot water with no alternatives <laughs> so which is kind of um, special it's uh, we had a lot of rain now in july and in, now there's no rain today still kind of no winds and very nice weather yeah, i came here uh, with 10 people uh, four of them are from greece and uh, some from two from china shanghai and uh, and some from the US and I give them here at two and a half hours and people are enjoying their time here and I'm just waiting you know it's my job to come here and I still have one more day to work tomorrow one more day tour and then I will be gone for some days to Poland to Gdansk for a week but if something happens in Iceland, I will keep you. I will keep you informed. Blue Lagoon is somewhat crowded today. There is a line of people to to the bar for the drinks, as you see. Uh, quite many people. Actually, Iceland is quite busy in August because of cruise ships docking in Reykjavik. Some of them carry three, four thousand people, and they all go for day tours. Yeah. And the restaurant is also open. <clears throat> so, I uh, maybe I'll come here again tomorrow and launch a drone or something. Uh, but as I see.